professoressa um, Anka Sardovar from the National Science Foundation. Um, I want to welcome you to uh, this conference. Uh, this will be one, I hope, of many. Uh, this is an extremely important topic right now uh, in physics and biology. And uh, for the first time I see really experimentalists and theorists working together. And, uh, for many, many years since I left condensed metaphysics, <coughs> I see actually some experimenters listening to theoretical physics um, that in biology doesn't happen often, and maybe for a good reason. Uh, <laughs> I, but uh, this is a topic that uh, actually is a very fruitful collaboration between these two groups of uh, scientists. I would like to give uh, uh, the microphone to uh, our organizers, uh, specifically Herb Levin, who this is his third trip in <laughs> one year and a half to Bulgaria to check where we're going to do the workshop, the cow and why, and so forth. And um, he was extremely supportive of this workshop. So, Herb, please, and please open the comments. Yes. I feel like I'm almost a native Bulgarian after my three trips here, <laughs> and then, you know, driving through the countryside. And, uh, anyway, welcome. This is a fantastic uh, event, uh, both for the venue, uh, being a really nice place with a nice view and usually nice weather. I think today we're back to the nice weather version of the Black Sea. Um, and also an extremely exciting topic. I think that uh, in the area of uh, physical science, meeting biology and trying to commonly uh, work out important problems, I think this is almost at the forefront of that effort in the sense that it's become clear over the last number of years that uh, genome structure, genome dynamics uh, plays a very important role in the functionality of cells, the functionality of multicellular organisms, the functionality of disease, and uh, we now are beginning to have the experimental tools and therefore also some of the theoretical tools for really making quantitative progress describing how this goes on. So this was a very timely meeting with uh, lots of experts, lots of people who will become experts in the next generation, and I think uh, we can make great progress over the course of the week. I want to thank a number of people for making this possible. Uh, first of all, our hosts from the Institute of Molecular Biology from the Bulgarian Academy of Sciences, um, who uh, uh, have a major effort in related uh, subjects related to chromatin structure and gene regulation, and uh, we're very happy to have many of them here, and also for them to play a major role in uh, or helping organize this meeting. Of course, the NSF, of course, there are so many people from the NSF here who have played a major role in funding the American participants, but also uh, really uh, enabling this conference uh, to take place. And all of you for coming and for uh, sharing your ideas and uh, sharing your uh, visions for what this field can become over the next few years. And I think by the end of this meeting, uh, uh, the field, I think, will definitely advance in terms of commonality and thinking and commonality and ways of uh, uh, understanding what the progress has been over the last number of years and also what the prospects are for progress in the future. So uh, with that, I want to introduce uh, our first uh, plenary speaker, who is Phil Sharp, who actually I don't need to introduce because all of you know who he is, but I'll do it anyway because it's customary. Uh, so uh, Phil Sharp is a professor uh, at MIT uh, and of course uh, won the Nobel Prize for his uh, work discovery of alternate splicing and introns uh, many years ago, and uh, not willing to rest on those laurels, uh, Phil Sharp has been perhaps one of the most pioneering biologists in, in the world trying to understand how to bring together physical science and biology and engineering into one coherent, convergent discipline to understand living matter with all its manifestations with as quantitative an approach as we possibly can imagine. So today he's going to tell us about phase separation uh, in uh, chromatin and the role of that phase separation in governing gene expression. And with that, I think I'll turn the floor over. 